It's about to find out, Chris, right here, right now. Thank you so much, Emmy-nominated colleagues. And hello, <laughs> Emmy-nominated viewers. Let's party, boys and girls. It's going to be a good one. Chance, it's not all doom and gloom for the Ravens, though. We, uh, we, we had a little conversation before this matchup started that uh, recent form and recent performers and recent numbers favor the Ravens. Yeah, I mean, like doom and gloom long term because the run to get to champs, it would be like a spectacle, uh, a spectacle if London could pull it off. But like in the yes. short term, in terms of being like able to play at the level of your competition, London had a lot of potential, I think. Like you know, her name was talking about how New York at the start of the year, hard point record completely absurd. As of late, like six and 10 throughout or since stage three, London Royal Ravens in the same time period have a better hard point record. I mean, London even like, you know how scary optic has looked lately they took optic to the limit so like this is a team that has a lot of potential we are starting on a map where london respectable record on obviously they haven't played it a ton but to have anything in a number one category on that rotation percentage you'll take any good you can get for london and i agree the opportunity absolutely here to pull off an upset Chris wants to know how the Ravens make it to the winner's bracket. Let's find out, boys and girls. Embassy hardpoint right off the rip. Kills all over the shop. We'll see if Yuli can keep that cool head, keep that cool demeanor in and out of game. He helped them out tons against that Vegas season. That was fantastic. Here we go, the one of the hardpoint. Kismet, the man of the moment. He's been a wonderful addition to the squad here on the subliners this season. And so far, it's all Ravens in the feed chance. I mean, that is a beautiful start for Ravens. They've got the P2 control. They're starting to spawn a few players out. And more importantly, on a P1, this is as good as it gets for really locking down time. Skies is finally able to chip away at the players actually collecting the hill time. But I think London will take it. 18 seconds isn't too shabby. And obviously being set up long term for this new hill, uh, pretty much as good as it gets for Ravens. So far, fantastic. Nice P1, P2 now. Looking for that time. Ravens well and truly set up for this one. Skies on the back line here. Can Scraps find a few out of it? There's Preset. That's number one over the Skies. This will be number two. Takes care of business. Hold still strong now for the Ravens. And that's the hard point open for business. Oh, and I love that from Scraps too, because those are aggressive kills he's able to get. So instead of being on the back truck, he can be that guy. And look at how far pushed up Ravens are. A seam the cutoff man slowing him down. That's step number one. Nasty's the next guy you have to get past. He's holding the cross. That was a beautiful setup out of London. Scraps helped set it up. His teammates went and knocked it down. And a seam is back in your face, putting so much pressure on the map. London, honestly, they've been uncontested at the hill. This has been coasting. Easy time to collect on people. P2. Yeah, full 60 on P2. Great work out of Nasty. He's on a force spree. Here comes a seam. One found. Heard a footstep or two. There's a oh no! He ended the spree. Nine and one from Nasty. A seam, the only man that could slow him down. Time ticking. Ravens looking for another hard point chain, but there we go. New York. They may have broken the chain right then and there. Can they hold on to the top side of the map? Yeah, and this is Operation take full advantage off of that team kill that comes through because that could have been a dire situation if you got to worry about a seam and nasty on that road over to top AC, but they're taking care of business. You get your snake spot up, gunny up, ready to go. Priesta, a 1-7 in seven start. This is his position to turn things around, and now for London, stuck over in that PD spawn. It is a hike and a half to even attempt to get through to new. Yeah, we saw what the Ravens number one in rotation percentage when it came to the breaks. It was like fifth. So we'll see how that goes. Can they get the break here? Hydra roaming the open areas of Embassy now. Wins a big one against Scraps. Keeping the hard point. Taking the favor of his boys. Nice work again. Three in the feed. Looking for the clean fourth. No, Nasty's going to be there for the Ravens when they need it the most. Rotations though. Name of the game. They're all over it. London, they're on the new. And looks like Hydra on a four spree now. The boys are starting to heat up. And they've been allowed to hit their comfort zone as well, right? Because that is a full 60, completely uncontested on that old time. Hydra, he's had dead silence active for a minute and a half at this point, And he can just coast along as New York looking to, again, take advantage of a single small mistake that London make. And obviously, they are right back in this game. Hydra still has Deddy, so we're going to do this real quiet. Like, here he comes towards the hard point. Hydra, six spree. Teammates finding the kills. And there we go. Deddy's finished. Back to full volume. Your boy's cooking. Priest, on the other hand, though, three and ten chance. His team have nearly pulled their way back as it's now seven in a row for Hydra. Yeah, and well, it's, you know, he's on the seventh spree. He has just flipped the map on its head. They're really not even shooting back at this point. And how good things for London they were early on. Now it's what? You're calling out Hydra in a hallway. He's basically guaranteed to get at least one. They're going to be desperate just to trade this man out. As, oh, maybe he can even go for a record. Or Yuli can sniff him out. The awareness is on point in London. It looks like they've gotten through to the hill. Granted, only for the final 15 seconds. But you'll take what you can get. Here we go, Kismet. Wraps back. 
can't get the kill on those seam. That's a nice 10 seconds gained there by the Ravens. See if they can hold on to that. They're still trying to claw themselves back into the lead. Subliners, what a turnaround from them. It was a slow start the first three. Can Nasty keep the hard point alive and kick it? Nope, Hydra, good timing. Right on to that one. Got to watch out for the trophy, though. Ravens, well utilized there towards the point, but we're not going to see too much more out of it. Can Matty Marshall get towards this hard point now? Just over 100 points we go for the Subliners chance, and London's rotations, they have been slowed. He needs to make something happen, though, and that's the perfect start. Little drop shot coming through, but he's been very patient, waiting for his teammates. And, I mean, Scraps does his job. He takes down two players, but it's the final sort of gunfight in towards the hill. Ooh, he's going to challenge with only 31 HP, so easy trades there. And, again, it is just the, the tale of two different games. As soon as Subliners got in control, they just simply have not looked back. I mean, they've basically been on a 100-point-to-nothing run since the, you know, the AC Hill. Yep, it's not been looking great for the Ravens since then, but we're looking towards another break. Nasty now with a sub in hand. 40 goes, takes care of Hydra next start. It's going to be a trophy there. Can Kiz get involved? Keeping the hard point in the hands of the subliners. Nasty keeps this play kicking. Kung of the third. Priest are there. Again, it's a bad Nev Citral hard point there by Kitchen. Go back over towards middle as the first set of hard points are complete. And New York subliners starting to walk away with it. Uh, you also have New York sort of in all the power positions, right? Skies is going to be on the AC unit. He can jump on the catwalk. You've got Kismet that's going to be around the top bathroom area. So you need the kills before you can get the time. But Breeze and Skies got taken care of. And that's three in the feed right there for London. So they're back towards P1. This was honestly their bread and butter at the start. And they had a little bit of clearance. But obviously P1, very difficult to collect that time. Even when you take care of the power positions, guys like Breeze took right back in the mix. Yeah, right back in the Priest at top paper position. The power spot here by P1. Yuli now roaming the halls. Can't get Priest as well. But that makes that hard point a little bit more open. Ravens will be able to soak at least 20 out of this before Priest gets back in a position. Nasty though, backside of the hard point. 19 and 10 from him. Slaying out. Ravens, this is a nice bit of wind in their sails they sorely need. The last P2 was seemingly perfect. Can they repeat it? Oh, that is unfortunate timing. Kismet's going to be the guy trying to make the play to make sure they can't repeat that success. And, well, you got Kismet at least attempting to block spawns. You got Hydra calling in the crews to hey, just land it on top gas. So they're going to be looking for Yuli long term. And you still have Kismet behind enemy lines. Patient to make the play, but he does get traded. But the success is there, at least for him to set up his teammates. You still have New York with the pressure on the point. It's Sneaky Hydra. Cut Sal Nasty from the back. That's great work. Yuli's up next. Hydra. Still keeping this hard point safe and open for the boys. Not a lot of time gained here for the New York subliners, but they're fine with that for now. Again, the Ravens, they are firmly on the back foot here. Working at a 50 point game. As the subliners now starting to really walk away with things, rotations looking good as well. Let's go for a quick listen in. New York subliners. I got one in. Yo, can you just block that? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Block, we're blocking gas. Take his first yeah, keyboard, book right? Yeah, book us, book us. Nah, more. We're moving more, guys. We're moving more. Two ones, two ones. Is one weak? No, no, no. One's up down and one's up top. He might if be lying. Give me time. I can pinch yeah, it. AC AC's taking. Yep. Never mind. I'm trying to hold it. Hold, 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 hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One's AC. He knew that. Nice. Good shit. I got block him. Block him. Orange again. Orange again. P1 on me. I'm watching P1. I'm watching P1. I have a trophy. No, they have a trophy. I got a guy over. They're gonna need me. I'm waiting for nades. One's orange, guys. The two S1 on top. He needs guys. I'm deep S1 guys. Yeah, I'm crossing P1. 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 Absolutely. Nice. 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 Yeah, he's low, low PD, low PD. Yo, what's S2? S2, I have DP S2, S2, DP2, DP2. Watch it, S1. T trying S1 cross. They're gonna drive off PD. They're gonna dive off top PD. One's gonna be DP2 going for P1. P1, I'm one of them. Yeah, P1, I'm one of them. Nothing front, nothing front. One more. Yo, gas in P1. Gas in P1. Yo, the gas one, guy. Gas one. Yo, one's top PD, top PD, top PD. I need your cross, I need your cross the time. Wait, I didn't know about that. One shot the PDS with no one, this one is out. Let's live, let's live, let's live. I'm getting around right now. I'm watching orange only. Orange only. I'm watching orange, I'm watching orange. Ladder on me. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Deepest one, deepest one, we trolling. One shot. Top PD, top PD. Top PD. I got top PD. I can pop you. I can pop you. Yeah, I'm already top Paco. Drop down. Don't jump up. Don't jump up. We're not blocking gas. We're not blocking gas. We're spawning out. Yeah, I'm working the back. I'm working the back here. Yeah, this. That's one, that's one. Weak. That's one on top. Other guys, back PD. Two S1. There's two S1. Well, here we go. The last bastion of hope here for the Ravens here on Embassy. And they've got it locked down so far. Got to watch out for this sneaky Priester. The rest of the subliners making their way forward. The chance this game got out of hand real quick. Yeah, that AC hill is going to be the thing of nightmares for London fans. But now on PD, I mean, the hold so far has been good. Priest has been waiting on the timing to coordinate with his teammates. You got number three, Skies, in the back. But you've had zero pressure on the hill until Hydra is going to make his approach. Oh. Dude, it's 28 kills and only had to take down one. And his teammates were there waiting in the wings, but they got the break they needed. Hydra right now, all class. There's number 30.
He is absolutely soaring the final 20 seconds here in the game, and you could get it all done here. Hydra will see him over towards next respawn Priester, but for now, the Ravens, it's a late break. They're in, but this is the game right here, right now. Hydra on a four, 13-17 overall. The squad is set up in Kitchen. It is a mere moments away. London, the break's got to be so sweet, lads, because you got seconds before you lose. Yeah, and well, the first part of the sweetness is having a cross in that moment. Yuli, the only one able to make it through, and well, Yuli is 11 kills. He's about to have the Chow Hydra in a bad spot. Doesn't even have the opportunity to make it there. New York Subliners completely and utterly locking it down on Embassy. What a turnaround. The first three points weren't great after that. It was all New York, New York. There we go. Map one closed out. The Ravens strong showing. A couple of sweet individual plays, but not really enough to keep that momentum going. New York Subliners, they take the lead. We're in our first series of this super duper Saturday. Yeah, and that game quite literally just comes down to uh, the AC Hill for me. Uh, I mean, London did everything perfect. Right off the jump, solid rotation over towards P2. Even had a solid opportunity on rotating over towards that AC Hill. And obviously, it's just unfortunate for a scene. Team kill Nasty. Uh, I think Nasty was left one HP for the gunfight. But as soon as they ended up losing that rotation to that hill, they got full 60 The second go around on the AC Hill, they got full 60 And it was Hydra that just like climbs up the ladder and just zaps through three players down for the old three piece. I mean, Hydra, 30 kills, 27 of them were non-traded. So he was simply able to do whatever he wanted. He really was the phantom there on Embassy, flown around those corridors. No one could slow him down. Nice eight spree out of him as well. No doubt we'll be seeing plenty of him here in the highlights, but not a terrible start there for this New York subliners. Back to the form of old. We haven't seen them really looking super strong since major one chance. And that feels like a lifetime ago. And I bet it does for the fans as well. Here we go, the highlights, or as we like to call it, the Hydra lights. Yes, I will be here all weekend. I'm, I'm so, I was going to make that exact joke. I'm so <laughs> upset. Well, Disgusting, fair man. He really, he really was unbelievable, dude. Like once he starts getting things going, it's difficult to track a play like that down. It's difficult to deal with this sort of pure heat. And then Kismet as well on the feed. Here's the Zappers. Lovely stuff out of Hydra. It, that's the one for me of like three players that are all stuck around the AC unit and no one watches the ladder. Like there are three ways to actually get towards the hill. There are three players. Someone just has to watch the ladder. Like that's not rocket science. It's not complicated. Uh, and I know for London, they had like almost the exact same issue when they were playing against Vegas on Hydro of just having the hill, the P3-1 on Hydro, and no one watched the water hop up. And Sandy literally just jumps up and zaps three players and single-handedly breaks it. So uh, London, again, they have situations where they're playing the map well, and then they just make some like horrifically bad mistake in a moment like that. And again, if you're making a mistake against a player like Hydra, he's going to three-piece you and only use 12 bullets to do it. So, yeah, no sweat there for him. Uh, he will have all of the confidence in the world going into map two. Wonderful stat lines there coming through from the subliners. We'll see if they keep that going through to map number two. But Embassy it got out of hand. It got out of grasp from the Ravens there, and they simply could not claw their way back in. We'll see if they can't find some success on the search and destroy moments away. And we've got a bit of a hotel control also there. Smack bang in the middle. Hotel to close out the series as well if you have to get there. But now for chance for that fortress. How we lean in towards this one, brother. It, I mean, the instinct sort of tells me that Fortress just by default feels like Hydra's break, playground. And considering he dropped 30 in map one, uh, I would be pretty fearful if I was London going into map two. But at the same time, London had have had a, a decent bit of success on this map. Maybe a little bit less so than New York. But again, the potential is there. They just have to avoid those moments of like not watching one of three ways to get into a point and getting pieced up by Hydra. Things like so that. Sounds so simple. It sounds so easy, but we'll find out if it really is in the game. But again, London, they've had a wonderful run in search and destroy. Asim, again, the man to watch, hasn't had those sort of big double digit kills where he's setting his own sort of records, his PBs. We'll see if he can't have one here. He does look very relaxed and chill there in the cam, bottom right hand side. But we'll see if he can't bring that special something here to this fortress on Al Bagra. Ravens need to bounce back. New York subliners looking to go up two to nada. I've always loved how small Hydra looks in these cameras. His is so much further away from everyone else. Or he is really small. I, those Tiny. are the, the two options, you know? Tiny, pint size. We know what they say about small, statured Call of Duty players. Typically, the KDs are huge. And I still maintain that is quite literally just because of like, you know, the nerves in your fingers. It's just a shorter route to your brain to like send that. So your reaction time is just slightly faster. So that's why the cracked out SMGs, ordinarily shorter players. That's just how it works. And 
think Priest may maybe trying to hit the old regain. Maybe take a quick bathroom break, grab some water. Not that he was needed to have a particularly strong performance, but I know certainly in the kills comma, a bit of a slow one, or he's back already. Priest, a literal speed demon. Oh, lightning fast there from the subliners. You're gonna need that lightning speed here on Albagra too. It's a teeny weeny map. It's a fast one. Some call it Bocage V2. I personally think that's Embassy, but there we go. Fist bumps are out. The Ravens coach there on the side. It would have been Dom. Last moments through. Here we go. Map number two. Albagra, Fortress, Search and Destroy. The record's not superb for either side chance and relatively even in both the first buds and the round wins. This should be a nail by turn. It, well, I would say, honestly, for London, that would probably be the uh, first sort of avenue of attack, those first bloods. 41% is a, a little bit lackluster, certainly towards the, the bottom of the league there. And considering they had a, a round win percentage that sort of outperforms that, uh, I think they found themselves in situations where they have to clutch with a, a little bit of success behind it. I see some pop-off potential. I see him, I know, is a fiend when it comes up to uh, all the jump-up spots. Or maybe just a straight-up hit down low. Skies and Hydra, they are ready for this chow. Howdy! Well, he gets one out of it. Great work from Asim. Trades complete. 3v3 over the scraps now. Feeling the pressure on the outside here by the A Street. Backs up. Safe spot to be in. Yuli Stone with the back door covered there, so the Ravens are still playing this as thick and as thin as they possibly can. Gotta get that bomb recovered, though. The subliners be moving. Man advantage, Ravens. Oh, nasty. Very aggressive as well. So he's got a, a decent bit of information for his teammates. The A bomb site wide open for a bomb plant. It's all about Yuli being able to get there and Hydra playing it patient. Ooh. Wrong gun for the job, though. Nasty already in position. And Priesta left alive in a one versus three. But bomb down, and he's got a trophy. This is almost hopeless. Good luck. Have fun, P Dog. The Ravens are looking to neuter him in the first round. 30 seconds and ticking. He's hit the back. He's doing it loud. And he's too loud. Nasty gets on the board. So do the Ravens. Snip, snip. And that's some great coordination. I'd say, you know, if comms are going to be an issue for those moments where either, you know, Standy or last game where Hydra are getting the three pieces like that, normally that's like a comms breakdown. This time it seemed like the comms for Ravens completely on point. Scraps is calling out, hey, they're double challenging P1. They're going to be aggressive on it. You had Yuli up top just above them to catch Kismet trying to make the play. So uh, subliners were making, I'd say, the, the correct play or at least the one that they had designed. But Yuli just there with Scraps making the reads and making sure they don't let anything too crazy happen. So efficient first round. Yeah, good first round. Choose the other foot now. Ravens. Very similar look from what we saw at the subliners here. These aggressive hits on the inside of Fortress, but no one's going to be home this time around. Priestly with the outside street coverage. Nasty and Asim. They're able to literally dive into this fight and hopefully get the trades together. That truck does explode, though. Priest has got to be careful. I don't think he saw the feet of Nasty as he crossed. He did not. This could get awkward, but we'll see. Dead Silence Pop, he's making a move. Backline. Oh, this is awkward indeed. Stay alive, Priester. Pressure now for the Ravens. All four arrows marching forward. Oh, and this is the question about Hydra. Do you check the corner? Nobody ever does. Free kill right there, but that is for the trade because Scraps got the first blood in London. They're playing aggressive. They're trying to chow and skies. Well, no fear in his heart. Ready for it. This will be a nasty attempt for the 1v3, but good news for him. Gets a freebie sort of kill, and he has dead silence, so a lot more potential for a clutch this round, or Priest will just gun you to bed and not even let the setup take place. So two offensive rounds, everybody taking care of business, everybody watching the flanks and on point with it. All tied up here on the uh, Abagra front. I will say, Nasty, he was 3-0 and before that. He's feeling himself if he's taking battles like that against Priest. He's like, yeah, I'm going to chow this. I know it's a 1v2 now or 1v3. I'm absolutely going to go for it. Skies, though, good work from him there in that round. Hydra with the nice corners. Bagra Fortress, too many nooks and crannies to worry about on those upstairs positions, but you need that fortress control, especially if you're going towards the A-bomb site. And that is where we are going. Trophies are down, nades are out. Throw them, boys, if you got them. Priest watches at least one there. Saw the cross. Here comes the incoming fire. Skies might be able to get out here and help out. He does. Nice work from Asim, though. That bomb did not get planted. He stays alive. Yeah, that, that was the idea, though, right? Go for the quick plant. Subliners are having absolutely none of it. But now the chow comes.
comes through a seam, trying to square up for it, but it is effective trades. Again, Scraps has been pretty on point the past two rounds, finding the picks when he needs them, and now you get the bomb down. And Subliners, they're going to be flooding through P1. Scraps, good luck with this one. Got to be on point. I think he saw at least one. He might not have seen the two of them, but here comes the pressure. Subliners are soaring forward. They're absolutely flying. Let their lives depend on it. Priester, cut down on the back line. Nasty wins a big one. Sky's now from up top, just peeking out. Can he catch anyone here? Yuli, head down, son. You are the insurance policy. Great coverage. Onto the bomb site, though. Who's that? It's Kismet with Deddy. He's crept forward. There's one traded out immediately. The play is not quite dead yet. Skies could make something happen. He's a little noisy. Can he rip Yuli? No, Ravens. Another round. I love that setup too out of London. We got to start stealing something like that for rank. Such a tight back pocket. You're like double it up on both like palm trees. And even Yuli playing like the deepest corner of the map. It's kind of perfect. Like if you know the flanks coming through, you play turtle so you can double or triple challenge every single gunfight that's coming your way and obviously that is three players in position ready to check the bomb if they needed uh, i know a tight setup like that could be potentially devastating if you got like stuns and nades landing on your forehead but uh, it was late in the round that was simply not a problem in london uh, i mean that's some homework being done love the setup hate that stuff well that the london tetsudo or the tetsudo i forget it's like a turtle in roman in it mate there you go I've, <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know the roman tours anyway google it kids Subline is now making their way onto the A-bomb site. They've got a lot of numbers here, but the Ravens, they are stacked up, locked and loaded to pounce. The two-man top map, <laughs> top six, look at this setup. Yep. I'm seeing nothing but booty right now on the Ravens. They are packing. I'm about to start swinging cheeks. You even got information on every single cross. There's a trophy there, though, and a seam again. He loves the hop-ups. Hydra, though, certainly going to do his homework there to take Oosh. him down. And Scraps has been a, a pretty good menace in terms of getting picks, but it's still a man disadvantage. It is still that bomb planted. Someone's got to make the play nasty, giving it to the college try, but yep, too good of a corner. No. Hydra wins in the round. He had Deddy as well. That's an unfortunate dagger. Scraps now tagged up. 1v3. Subliners pounce. No sweat off their brow. They take care of business there and keep things rolling. Love that from Hydra. The boy, he's got some of the best corners in the game. I'm, I'm calling it now. I don't hate that at all. I, I can live with that. And Hydra, again, effectively wins New York the round. I know they baited out a lot of attacks waiting for the trophies to come through initially. But as soon as you take care of a seam trying to go for the windows hop up, if you can get the bomb planted, you just know guns are forward. They're coming through open. They're coming through closed. They're not complicated gunfights. So subliners, uh, another simple round on the attack. Squared up two to two. Hydra eats a stun for breakfast. And we're in. Damage dealt. Scraps first blood. It's a hot one. Yuli's there as well. Oh, nasty in the feed. Can everyone get their kill? No. Manny Marshall drops. Sky is now 1v3. Pressure is now on that frag. Does land. Fantastically. What a bounce. Right there. Yuli's tagged up. Spots an ankle out. We're in. Nice snaps out of Skies, but not enough. The Ravens. What a blistering round. That was a, another good read uh, on offense. Again, sort of simple there from London. I think they had, again, scraps, by the way, every single round able to find a pick. But I think he was about top rails. You would Kismet being aggressive on the site, but I think he was basically the setup man to be bait for Hydra. Because Hydra, if he was able to get the flank off, could have had a free double kill shooting some players in the back if London did not have as tight of a setup as they did, uh, ready for every single trade to come through. So... Uh, again, Ravens, homework completely on point. All the tight setups rolling through, and that is why they've had success in their three rounds. By one, and it's bizarre to see a scene. One and five. He's usually the Terminator in the search and destroys here for the Ravens. Over to Yuli now. Hasn't quite got dead silence. That trophy does connect, though. This guy's now. Guns up, ready to roll. We're going to dip on out, plant that bomb, and evacuate the area. They're going to give up the site. Let the Ravens sneak on in. Think they've got something here. And Yuli is playing this so slow and sneakily chance. He might be able to get one or two before the play really starts. Okay, well, Scraps. Scraps is going to kick it off. Yeah, you got plays going on all over the place. But do you want to hop it? Do you want to make moves? Do you want to just double up on the gunfight in the back? Skies is a pixel in taking these players down. Impossible to kill and snakes on point. You got 15 seconds left to hop this box. Gotta fly at him. Oh, tags up. The trades are there. Can Priest find it as well? Scraps is going to 1v1 now. Not enough time, though. Well played from the subliners. As Skies, man, slithering on that back truck. A very, very difficult kill. 
Asim came so close, he was just unable to get that last bullet in before being traded out. Subliners just about steal the round. And I think if I'm London, I, you know, honestly, it's super tough because I think the first round where they tried to, like, stop the bomb plant from going down, Skies was on the site and he picked up a two-piece of Wait players coming through open. That's how he got the kill. Okay, not a pistol. Skies is cheeky. Yeah, you can't let the bomb go down anymore if Skies is going to be doing stuff like that. No, that is... That is not okay. Well played, those guys. Band and finds you know, an Miles, exploit, dude. <laughs> for me, that's a brand new spot, and I'm going to have to check it. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if Skies could just see the red dot through, like, the trunk. It just knows. So there's no guesswork about the wall bang. Oh, I need to double check, but it just wouldn't shock me. Diamonds are forever. 3v3 three to 3 to three in the round count. 44 overall. Slow here from the subliners. Ravens. As close as you like towards that bomb site. We've got Deddy's ready to roll across the side. Nice work out of a seam. What a first blood. F's given zero. Gets a kill, gets out. Yeah, doing that dance, getting all the information, and still getting set up and playing for bigs. London, they want to rotate this out towards B. This is a bold call. This one's making noise up top, but they're making even more. Skies on the cross has to get a second if they want to have open this one. Or maybe a flank from Priesta as you rotate the bomb back towards A. And now you get a 2v2. It's quite a complicated setup right now from the Ravens. And oh, simple no. as it goes from the subliners. Less than 30 now. Scraps 1v2. Deddy about to come to a close. Unless he can kill Skies. Not enough time. Doesn't turn it back on. Pistol. Pinock. Oh! Yo! Son of a two-piece. Matty Marshall's roaring. Let's go, bro. Let's go, mate. We're going to win this. Honestly, massive round right there because this would have been the one for London to throw away. Like, London did all the hard work and then they just get caught by Priest to down low. Dude, put in <laughs> such a bad spot. But Maddie Marshall, the bailout player. Wow. And London now have the advantage. They won the big swing round. This could be momentum going their way, but that is only step one. You still need to make sure you can stop New York Strat. They have been hyper successful of getting this bomb down at A. You got to find a way to stop it. Scraps, he's feeling good after that one. 11 and 4. They give his boys the one round advantage. Guns up now, ready to get in towards A once again. The snipes now from Hydra. Doesn't do it too often. When we see it, it's usually a lot of fun. Can they translate this into a round win? This is Nate's attacks coming out. Oh, there you go. Hydra is getting tagged. Is there enough for a follow-up? It's not the case. London, they're making the play call. It is a triple, maybe quad wrap through P1 Kismet. You gotta have the sound of you on for this one. Yeah, he knows they're coming. <laughs> he heard something. Oh, he heard even more. Hydra finds one. Yuli. Can't get away with his life. Big damage, though. Nasty gets into the fray. Stops Kismet on the flank. Over the skies. Pressure now on as Priest defines his kill. 3v2. Raven starting to bleed out over to Hydra again. Can't land the shot. Scraps has changed position. Yuli dances with the devil once again. This time it takes two to tango and it's Scraps and Yuli. They've got to go big. Clock still ticking. Pressure is on. The play is not dead yet. The Ravens, they are still flapping. Now down to Scraps and it should be done here. There we go. Subliners, they pull out the snipe. And chance what? They're two and nine when Hydra snipes. Better make it three and nine. Giggity. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I mean, Hydra snipe, Hydra no snipe, the shots, oh, oh that on. is tragic. Oh, I don't even know if he actually connected through the collat. Yuli didn't look like he'd lost health, but either way, that was close. Also, that is just another round on offense where, like, it's almost simple for subliners. They've had a few different ways they've done it, but they're just effective at getting the bomb down at A. London have thrown the kitchen sink at trying to stop it. They've tried to bully out their open. They get two-piece by Skies. They actually work this site, and then you have Skies in the back doing things like that. They've tried triple flanks. They've tried it all. They keep getting shut down, and now you got players like Kismet in your base causing all sorts of problems him and hydra out and about i just did he's still active he's roaming the brakes have been pumped so hard it's number six it's nasty looking out for him he's on that prowl he's got that a street covered for now will he hold it for long enough yuli crack that door and you might be in trouble shots are done hydra knows something's abound we can see uh -oh. here this player jumping around oh yeah uh -huh. this is it that is it. Done and dusted. Trades there, though. Complete. 2v2. 40 plus seconds remaining. They're just so loud, though. 
And Skies has the cross if they want to try to go to B, if they go back towards A. I mean, they're ready to set up for the pinch. And yeah, Skies is reading this potentially the entire way. Nothing's crossed yet. You got to know the bomb is going to be going down today. Yeah, he didn't hear a thing, though. Both the Ravens players dead. He's now going to be finished. Scraps might be able to get something nasty. Big win. Kismet taken care of over to Skies. And they can hear all of it. Not a single soul now playing with dead. He has to move. Could quick reposition. Love this. On the bomb. I'm not sure this is going to oh get checked. Oh, my God. Skies might have done it. No. Thank God. Timing. <laughs> Played by the Ravens. Matt Point. Yeah, I, that's a desperation play like there for Skies because obviously they're just going to be throwing shoulders, check the bomb and whatnot. That was very close to finding the opening and the timing. So Skies, a dangerous player in these clutch sort of situations. We'll make the high IQ play, but one in there to shut it down. And they got the double trials coming through to make sure you take care of Hydra. And obviously Nasty, not only does he get the trade for Yuli on Hydra, wins the big one-on-one -on -one versus Kismet up top. So Nasty certainly making plays. We are back to square one, where I think New York had been, what, perfect on their offensive rounds. They've done a few different tweaks here and there, but London have given them nothing to stop this A plant. That is square one. You got to find a way. Word from stats, every round has been an offensive W. Yeah, so we here we go. Subliners. We're looking at a round 11 if the stats don't lie. The Ravens have infiltrated the top side of the fortress they are in. It is so quiet here on Albagra. You can hear the seagulls. Bomb being planted down at A. It's a big old stun check. It's not going to land. Priest that might be able to eat two. No! Big wins out of Yuli and the boys. Here comes the pressure. And it all goes now. Hydra cut down and a hail of gunfire. Yuli finds your second on the round. I mean, hey, this is it. You got two players running around. Kismet, he has found himself a beautiful corner. But he still has to get two, but you get traded out. It all comes down to skies. London can get this done on Bagger. You know he's oh in the back. You just need to trade him. No bolts connected for the 1v1, but a seam shuts him down. London Royal Ravens tie the series up. There we go. Not to be fooled twice by the same spot. The Ravens learn. They get the bomb done. And that is it. Six to four. They take the search. And they're all gone. See you, mates. <laughs> they're already hitting the break. Sunlight. Yeah, they wake up a little <laughs> bit, you know. <laughs> we tie the series up one to one after that fantastic search and destroy. The subline has come out swinging on embassy, but there we go. Hotels coming up next. Chance, what a fun bagger that was. Absolutely. And again, London, it, like, I appreciate the fact that they are trying different things every single round to at least effectively retake the A site. And it might have taken them five tries at it, but they got it done in the final round. It's another sort of swarm through the P1 side of the map. Uh, this time, not necessarily all the way around, but uh, I mean, efficient stuff. All the setups from London Royal Ravens, you can clearly see that they have been putting the work in, the tight setups, the coordination is there, completely on point with the teamwork. Uh, I'd say it's a few, maybe communication breakdowns they had on the embassy but when it comes to smd able to take care of business the first bloods on point scraps was a pick machine and obviously that was the big swing round that was the moment for the scraps 1v2 where he's able to shut it down able to prop his team up just to, just enough to get the win yeah crazy crazy plays out of him 11 and 6 from him 11 and 7 from skies they were the big ars going wild here in this series but there we go map two done hotel control coming up next we will be seeing a hydro hard point no matter what so get your swimmers ready for that one boys and girls and if we have to go the distance that hotel control but for now we will take a quick commercial break on the other side of this we're playing control don't go too far this is the call of duty league and after this one someone goes up in the series thread thread
Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The Call of Duty League is presented by the GMC Hummer EV Pickup, the world's first all-electric super truck. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by the new series Citadel, premiering on April 28th only on Prime Video. For a moment, ladies and gents, we've got our Hummer Extract mode. This is our big play from that Embassy Chance. It was that wild three-piece from Hydra. And that is as easy as it could possibly get, yeah. man. Just a zapper. It's like reminiscent to me of like a sort of dashy style where it's you just know the exact number of bullets it takes to kill, shoots that many, and just walks away. Hydra, yeah, when he's on point, one of the best POVs in the game. Absolutely. Hydra got the boys home there on our GMC Extract mode play. Lovely stuff out of him. One of the major turning points there in the embassy. While embassy was a distant memory, we go out of Bagra. The Ravens win that one. Now we descend on hotel for a control game. This one's going to be a good one, Chance. Again, as far as the matchup goes, recent form for the Ravens looking pretty solid. New York sublines again, a little bit up and down. They haven't quite really reached the highs of major one. What are we thinking about this matchup now? Well, I know on hotel specifically, London, it has been like an all year thing where their stats on the map are actually pretty good, except for their record. Their record is horrible in round fives. Uh, they're like 0 and 6, 0 and 7, but like they're a capable team on offense. They're not the best on defense, but still respectable. It has been just a clutch sort of factor 
all year for this team. And I'd say for the series we have at hand, like Scraps has been frying. Nasty has also been the exact same way. So I think the ARs can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the subliners. I'm fearful for Yuli when he's going against Hydra, though, because I know Hydra, map one, dropped a 30 bomb. Yuli had 1,400 damage and 10 kills. So uh, SMG disparity potentially on the horizon. Hydra would be the man to turn up. We'll find out. So far, it's a seam. Get himself two out of that. Nasty as well. Up close and personal there with attack. No easy feat. There's a lot of pressure now. Thanks to the spawns over towards A for the subliners. No one's really able to make it out just yet. We will get into that restaurant and they should get on that point. Nasty though. He keeps winning these fights. Makes it a lot easier for the boys. Yeah, still a relatively strong start on defense, though, for London, playing aggressive as well. Yuli uh, truly hitting the full sand, and obviously Nasty a little bit slower on the double chow coming through, so easy read for New York right there, and, well, lives all tied up, and Subliners now with only one body on the point, actually able to play much more aggressive. If they ever have an opportunity to oscillate over toward B, you see Kismet, he's thinking about it, toying with the idea. Slowly but surely. A's gone, though. It's going to be 2.05 on the clock, 25 lives apiece. Chandelier room is absolutely watertight right now for the Ravens. No one's getting in that way. They're backed on up. Playing noise now over towards B. Here comes Priester. Yuli's got to go big here. He's doing this alone. Backs up. Finds himself one good stuff. He's on a B now, but this shouldn't last too much longer. The Ravens should be able to get this player off. It's Priester, and he's dodging, diving, and weaving. Yuli finds another good hold. The Ravens still in control. And that's a beautiful moment for Yuli as well. Again, I think a little bit of pressure on him, but he gets the big two in that moment, keeps things nice and stable, and there's no funny business as you know, players like Scraps already pushed out the back bedroom. So it is the setup that London want long term. They're going to have success, but short term, Hydra going to be a problem. Double flank is coming through. Oh, here it comes. Hydra finds himself another one. It seems up next. Priest uh, at the main desk. It's a power position in its own right. Big tags, though. Is the team going to check this? Yeah, he is. Good work. Takes care of Hydra. Now, a bit of a stack over towards the point. Subliners, they lose the man alive. They're on the point. The clock's still ticking away. Priester wins oh, another one there from is. the desk. That's big. Life count still up by one for the Ravens, but the pressure is not over yet. You're on B now for the subliners. Segment done. Yeah, this might be enough just to sort of get them the round. Priest in too good of a position. Now you're going to have to flood through mid. The Kismet and Skies already staring at it, but they're left by themselves. It's only one more tick that has to come through, and yeah, Kismet had to abandon his teammate. The Swarm is in. A team getting two from up top oh. nearly makes it a third. A Hydra's reaction time just a little bit too clean, but London, they survived for a little bit longer. Absolutely insane work. Just about a minute to go. The sublines are still very much chewing at this one. They're not going to let it go yet. Here's we're trying to hold down this player in life. So Yuli wins it. Trades are there, though. Just buying time for the squad. Buying away those lives as well. 9 to 14. Subliners running out of time. Oh, seems taking the round two. He is going to be on a deep flank, taking his time. He spots both these players out towards Tom Tom. Just to set him out for the uh, old two piece if he can get it. You see the help through the middle of the map and a seam right now facilitating and keeping things stable. Brees is the most aggressive player on the map, but yeah, good luck with this one. It's a fast and a close range, so Nasty there to shut it down, and this is looking like a round for London. 22 seconds to go. Last ditch effort here for subliners. Five lives remaining for subliners. Now nothing remaining. In they go. Nasty catches another one on top bed. Big kills. That should be it. The final 10. Priest to cut down. That's going to be the round. Wonderful work there from the London Royal Ravens. Subliners early capture A didn't amount to a whole lot. Two minutes and five. Well defended by the Ravens. They're first on the board. And that's an impressive round to get as well, because as soon as Priest gets on the desk, they clear out everybody like a clean four dead. Everybody spawning up. But I think subliners were only able to get two players ever on the point. So the stack wasn't the quickest. That gave enough time for players like Asim to flank through bedroom. And I think the first go around, Asim picked up two big kills. He did the same thing, like, you know, 45 seconds later in the round, going on a massive flank through kitchen. And again, just chopping you down. So, yeah, 13 kills in a single round. That's pretty good. I see him absolutely frying. Here we go. A couple more here in kitchen for him. Kismet's around the corner. Timing's not going to be there for him as Kismet and Priest get their kills. Ravens, they're being pressured heavily towards the A side there. They take care of that player in kitchen, so the flank is safe. It's a three man hit over towards A. They're managing to get through with their lives as well. I see him gets another. The stack on A is already here. And Yuli's in an interesting spot, too, because he can actually be the cutoff man to feed Intel. So efficient trades over on the A zone. Yuli there, you see in the feed, able to take one before he falls. But that's just to slow the subliners down, who have effectively 
Already chalked up the A zone. I mean, that was a three-man swarm to make sure they funnel through B to keep things nice and secure. But I suppose if you go slow enough, some hunters the opportunity to try to vie for map positioning. You can see doing a good job of trading things, but no, it is the, the true chalk. No one's fighting over towards A. Subliners, they're happy to defend D for the next two minutes. 202 game clock. Here we go. The approach now over towards that B zone. Quite loud right now. Hydra's going to get this kill. Yuli, unless he snaps, Yuli's got to do something ridiculous to get this one. You checked it. You checked it. Your spidey senses are definitely tingling, man. You know something's up. Here we go. Hydra gets it. <clears throat> You're right, man. Hydra, best corners in the game. Woo! Newly checked every single corner except the one that Hydra was actually <laughs> in. So uh, that is just truly unfortunate. But Asim still long-term opportunity to make the play. You see Kismet is very worried about the flank. The problem for Asim, every single one of his teammates just died. And while he's forced to make the play, Kismet wins it. And you are back to square one. So it's two minutes and two seconds on the clock. London had to work with. Well, it is 40 seconds gone. They've basically made no progress. We're going to get some progress done here. Three of them have made it into bedroom. Priest and Kismet, they're in the wrong part of bed, but they might be able to get into the fight in a moment. Priest are not silent, though, at all. Time it pays off, though. Takes care of the feet of Yuli. As he manages to get his one upstairs. So now it's a 2v2 in the bedroom side of the map. Hydra wins his from the zone. The slow and steady war of attrition by the bedroom side. Oh, Scraps, no. though. Oh, he's starting to break the wheel. 50 seconds to go. You've got three members of the Ravens up, guys. Oh, dear. He's in a sweet spot. Does get the kill. Oh, and another point we go. Kismet with a pitch. Catches out Yuli. Will he get the trade? Does not. Scrap stays alive. Your pressure is still there for the Ravens, but the numbers are there for the subliners. Well, they're getting more kills, and now you actually have complete bedroom control. Hydra hasn't actually been able to push up and make a cross, so it's just the gunny from the front. Hydra is going to get traded. Kismet able to make it through, but I think London might be heads up on it, or maybe not. Kismet gets a, a single kill shooting a player in the flank, so time is now running out. Kismet is now behind enemy lines. A lot of problems London have to solve. Quick wrap back. Might be able to catch a player out. 15 seconds. Here we go. Raven's still not really making a move. They're waiting for the perfect set of kills. Daddy's done now for Kismet. Find a corner, any corner. Dive into the fight. That's a big one. Final five. No one's there. I don't even think Nasty's got time to get there. He got the kill, but I don't think he's going to be able to get in the zone. He does, ah, but the cleanups are there. And despite a Ravens player being in the zone, the round is done. Subliners win the D. Yeah, just too difficult. Subliners on point. Again, as soon as they like chopped up the A zone, they had two or three players pushed up in the couches, pushed up in the bedroom, and uh, there was maybe one window of opportunity where London were able to clear out their base, have those 50-50 gunfights up front. But again, Kismet, as soon as he was able to get in the bedroom uh, a few moments after, it's just incredibly difficult to win those rounds. So Subliners bounce back. Take care of business. Found themselves some uh, nice corners. And honestly, just did a better job of dealing with the scene that round. Here we go. Rounds up now for the subliners offense. Hydra deals with the scene. That first yeah. buzz all his, man. You got players on towards A, and now you got the pressure in towards lobby as well. Seam back at it. Will you be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe again? Love this wide hit. Beautiful read from a seam. Immaculate play. Over towards A we go, though. The subliners, they are in. Skies, the one man on the capture. Oh, taken care of. They do get the segment, I believe. So that's a win regardless for New York. Uh, also a little bit dangerous. Kismet on a five spree looking for that cruise. Granted, cruises again like a 17% success rate, but doesn't hurt to have situationally. So he is playing a corner, waiting for this next kill to fall into his lap. Uh -huh. And Asim thought about the donation, <laughs> but heads up gameplay right there for Asim. Hyper aware. So well played. Kiz with the hops, but... Well, let's see. Look at this. I think he can see the back. He can, but not enough for the kill. Oh, my oh, God. Man. What a chow from Kismet. He wanted that cruise bad. But life is done, though, and so is A. It seems also everywhere. That was a, a 1v1 little battle right there where a seam is hitting him from three different spots. So tricky man to deal with. And now for subliners again, taking things slow to deal with the seam who is now pop bed. And a seam doesn't have too much help in this moment. So this is the opportunity for subliners. They've gotten players in position, but that's a tough start. Yuli gets the first blood. He tried to jump on a player to look for a seam. Scraps is there for the coverage, and it looks like London will continue to be stable as time goes on. The bedroom side of the map is so noisy right now. No one has Deddy. Kismet's got the gun up, ready to go, but a seam may have snuck down here silently, just based on the coverage of that. 
concussion, but we'll see if we can sneak out a couple of kills. Yummy, cat. There's at least one. Max on him. He will be traded out, but over towards the lobby side of the map. Nasty. Living up to the name. Snaking his way forward. Finding those kills, as does Scraps. You've got a safe-looking B zone once again. This is Ravens defensively looking strong. Yeah, just uh, try to be that facilitator. And by the way, when Scraps is in this position, Asim has done this a few times going on the flank. So this is a lot of subliner players that he's going to be behind. There's number one. Number two can't finish it. And that could be it for the subliners. They just got all the kills. Almost everybody off spawn. It's only Scraps here behind enemy lines. But look at Kismet. He is reading the doors. Oh, he's all over it. Wait a minute. Yeah, there it is. It's actually Hydra from behind. But Kismet, he and Priest on the stack. Second segment's on his way out. Big Nays are there. Priest's trophy arrives a little too late. Yuli there with a gunfight. Ravens catch him out once again. 50 seconds to go. Yeah, that's an unfortunate trophy. And that is a big moment for Yuli to get that two piece. And wow, well, yeah, that is Hydra, though. That is a snap and a half. But it looks like it's going to be a deep spawn out. Only 40 seconds left on the clock, and you are not in the spot you want to be. Subliners are going to have to orchestrate this one, and they're going to have to do it at lightning speed. Well, the three of them making their way through mid. They might be the ones. Skies has drawn a lot of aggression. Yuli read and dealt with. On to the point we now go from Hydra. Can Scraps get out of Spire in time? No, Skies is still on the flank, still making the kills happen. Over to the front line, though, Asim has to catch Hydra out, and he does! Not enough for the kill, though! The trades are there. Brilliant play from Hydra. We're still capturing the point. Yuli wins his, gets traded again. We've got the point in our hands. New York, don't let it go. This is your round. Anyone there? The answer, no. New York. Oh, man. They had to do it at a lightning pace, Miles, and they got the job done. You got Hydra to the point. You had enough chaos on the flip side of things, and you were making sure mid-map stayed under control. So not fun to have to do in those mixy moments, but sub honors, that is the big swing round that they are able to get. Now you just got to keep things nice and stable for the next one, and they should be good to go from map three. Oof. Map point, New York. The defense has been good so far. Deep breaths, nail this, get on the hydro. Here we go. And him and Asim having like a bit of a square up battle as well. 21 for Hydra, 23 for Asim, but... Advantage for New York. Uli, though, starting things off. Nice first blood. Kismet, annoying to deal with. And yep, stakes on point. Oh. Defense too clean. Give them three. Knock them all down. And London, welcome to the blender. You're back in your spawn. Oh, yeah. They're split somewhat, though, between kitchen and back parking lot. Subline is now just starting to peel away at those lives. Kismet on a rampage. Daddy, reset. That's perfect timing. He's going to be able to keep this play going. I mean, you know, silent but deadly, but for him right now, it's silent and deadly. For Spree, but hey, eventually gets taken down. So London now with only 40 seconds on the clock. Have to have the square up gunfights over towards the A zone. And Hydra doesn't care what gun he has. He is going to laser beam you down. But enough pressure has been given up that at least London have four players around this zone. They are at this point just desperate to get it. 28 seconds, the clock has been stopped. It's a one-man capture for now, despite the fact that all of the Ravens are over there. They will be able to get something going. Good work from Nasty. Plays this corner well. Got to watch out for Skies on that flank, though. Slow and steady. They're getting the capture done. And all things considered, this could have been around. I think, when New York could have played much more aggressive defending the A zone. Maybe Skies will try to jump on it for the last second. Actually, Skies, it's only a 1v1 gunfight over towards the zone. And he's going to get it just to be annoying, just to drag these players back. So you don't even have to be hyper aggressive on it. Oh, they no. just make the big brain play in London again. Hi. Back to square one, back in the spawn trap. Oh, we'll get the third. Nasty, though, has got to get out of Freezer. Skies now holding the line. This is for the map. Skies wins one. Snake up, gets the second. The third, though, not there. In the Priester, gets the trades done. And just in the nick of time, Scraps is on the point. Uh-oh. Ah, he's reading the cutoff kills, too. Yeah, just to add a little bit of a dagger. You do get the A zone, but it was like a three-life differential before uh, Skies jumped on that play. Now it's an 11-life gap, so... One small mistake again for London, and Skies just finds the perfect moment to punish them. And now Hydra is continuing the punishment. They're going to be consistently spawning in Kitchen, and at least they're here for the double challenge to take Hydra down, but it is six lives. Game on the line. This could be the most unbelievable comeback in a game of control imaginable. It was 6-20. to 20. One kill at a time, one trade at a time. The Ravens trying to fight their way forward. They have space to get themselves on the B. Those two players going down. Nasty is in position now. He has to take care of the spawners. Coming out of Spa. 
And Skies has just made it so hard. He's brought him down. Vicious approach, though. It seemed, though, not done yet. Final 10. Here we go. And that is it. <laughs> it's done. Nasty cut down. The Ravens lose it on defense. And the New York subline has put up an astonishing wall. No one gets over that one. I'll be feeling great after that one, Skies. Lit things up in a big way. Kismet, crazy plays as well. They take the lead here in the series. And, you know, it's sort of the dangerous game you play. I'd say for London in those moments on the A zone, I like the strat of just leaving one guy on it and letting everybody push up through Shanty, push up through Blue, maybe see if you can get a clean three or four down and then jump on the B zone and, like, create those opportunities. I don't like that play when there's only 10 seconds left on the clock and, like, you're desperate just to capture the first zone. So they do it in a sort of a desperate moment. And Sky is literally the perfect timing he has coming on the kitchen flank and literally just winning a single gunfight and destroying the round that London could have had. So one small mistake will be a massive setback in, in both respawns. There were identifiable mistakes London made that New York end up just picking them apart. Not wrong, mate. It does sound like the Ravens didn't quite understand the severity of that situation and Sky's an incredible moment. We'll hear the highlights, ladies and gents, from that last one. Hydra had his way. Snakes on point. This was an outrageous set of kills as well. Another great spree from him. Another brilliant turn. As New York subliners, the respawn mode still proved to be very, very strong indeed. We go to a Hydro in a moment of an L chance. Sky's had a real slow one. Looking back at the stats there, 5 and 14 in the second round. He certainly turned that game upside down. Hey, not bad for the uh, bounce back if you go from 5 and 14 to making sort of the uh, hero plays in the final moments. That's obviously a great thing. And obviously, we're talking about the plays, breaking down specific moments. You also have the Hydro lights where another 30 bomb in the respawn. So again, Hydra just continuously unstoppable in respawn will always be doing Hydra things. So yeah, he can giggle and laugh all he wants. He is a godless killing machine. <laughs> Confidence there from the New York subline and starting to soar. Will they keep it going into our next map? We'll find out in a moment. As Hydra, once again, a very, very strong stat line in the respawns. He was a monster on Embassy and a monster here on hotel control as well will he continue to be a monster a leviathan if you will yes. on hydro that is coming up next the answer what chance that yes yeah that is a spoiler hydra is going to fry <laughs> he will be just fine whether or not new york win the game that is a little bit tougher to predict but hydra uh, certainly gonna be having a good time we do expect it will hydro hard point coming up next will hydra have his way with the ravens once again in the respawn modes we'll see if we do have to go though to that final map that hotel search and destroy that does change things for me we'll see how that goes but Hi, uh, mate, Hydra. He's been unbelievable all series long. You're expecting another big performance out of him when it comes to this Hydra hard point. Will the rest of the team, though, back it up? That I mean, that kind of is a big question. Again, I know Nasty and Scrap, certainly in maps one and two, were like putting on a decent one in the kills column. I know it seems certainly was going toe to toe uh, in the previous map to sort of keep things alive. So like London do have the pieces. Again, I'd say their biggest problem was the AC Hill uh, on Embassy, those crucial mistakes. And even for their final round on offense, the small mistakes they made. So if they clean up their gameplay, they go toe to toe with the best teams in the world. Unfortunately, those mistakes have been a little bit consistent. Even if we're talking about the three pieces that have happened, it was on P3, on Hydro, where they just didn't watch the water route for Stanley to just pop up and kill them and single-handedly break the hill. So it's those moments London need to look to avoid. It means the comms need to be absolutely on point. And maybe a, uh, I don't know, order on the phone? Who knows? Maybe a tweet or two. Maybe yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe we're, we're eating something. Maybe we're just texting the fan back home. All the Ravens fans from the UK, I hope you're enjoying yourself so far. Pressure is now on, though, in this final run-up towards Major 4. The New York subliners as well. Can they get back to that big Major 1 victory? The taste of victory still in their mouth? I'd hope so. It's been a long way since North Carolina. Last time Kismet was in Columbus, it was a win from him with the New York subliners as well in that historic run towards champs in the Vanguard season. Of course, we saw Krim do. Can they repeat it again? It'd be a big old win for them. CDL points on the line as well for the Ravens, trying to get out of that bottom spot, trying to get towards that top eight. Champs is still on the cards as well. And Puckett, he wants to see the Ravens in the winner's bracket. This is it, boys. Got to turn things around. Map count will come into things as well. But this is the look at the CDL points again. This is the Ravens in 12th up against our fifth seed, the New York Subliners. Tough scenes already, Chance, but a win here does put you on level with the Gorillas and Florida Mutineers if you're London. 
Uh, that's good news to be tied for dead last, I guess. But if you're having to jump past uh, 130, like if you're down by this much, down by 60, I mean, you're preying on a couple's team downfalls. You're going to have to make massive runs. I mean, I don't know mathematically what it would require from London, but like we're talking ridiculous online performances of like already it hasn't been great at a one and three record. But like even next stage, they'd have to go four and one, five and oh, they need at minimum like top four placings at both the major, if not outright having to like win one of them. So London certainly, uh, you know, last ditch effort, I'd say to try to make champs. Uh, but they can afford to play spoiler. I know on the flip side for New York, New York straight up won an event and are still behind two other teams that have not won an event because they just getting outplaced uh, on a consistent basis. I mean, you go from winning to a top eight to a top 12. So uh, New York, while the online stages have been great, certainly looking long term to uh, bounce back in majors. That's the thing. These online matches incredibly important. This one, no different. Subliners, here we go. Match point as we dive into Hydro Ravens trying to turn it around. Uh, it's a good start from Skies as well. Any potential flanks coming through? You see London have just had to pump the brakes, both Nasty and Scraps. Uh, can't really afford to move on the map until they deal with Skies. They sent a seam on the flank to make it happen, and a seam does deliver you too, so it took a, a few extra seconds to make it happen, but a seam goes and kills your entire team, flips the spawns, and London, again, just like Embassy, almost perfect when it comes to the opening break. It was a perfect four down. Nice shots out of Yuli. Under 20 seconds going the way of the Ravens as well. However, the subliners resurgence now as they make their way forward, cutting them one man at a time across the map. Spawns, though, still in the hands of the Ravens' far right-hand side. We'll see them hold on to that for at least the first push or two, but anything can happen here on Hydro. And this is what, isn't it? With the dead silence trying to make the play and successfully at that. Movement is clean, but Scrap's there to take him down. And now it's just about the water routes. These are the types of things you can't afford to make the mistake in. Well, there's a challenge. You just don't necessarily need to take. Hydra for two. And his team doesn't want the time. He wants to push up for positioning. And his teammate's going to get on it. So London trying to keep things stable. All the pressure coming through dumb. And it seems in a very interesting spot here. Aha, uh -huh. Hydra's down there as well. He has a pistol to deal with it, but he has been dealt with. Through the front line, though, Priest that can't get past Yulia Nasty. 30 seconds now ticking away. Yuli gets himself another sky. He's a top dome. The power position for this point. And now roaming towards the next one. Is the Ravens chance once again? Strong opener. Strong first sort of two hard points. Will they make three a goodie as well? Well, it is a potential spawn awareness. I think a scene turns a little too late. So 15 seconds of scrap time, make no mistake, is good for the subliners to get. And it looks like they're actually going to trade away a bunch of it. So subliners are going to be actually be very slow on this rotation. Brise is the first one here, and as long as he is alive, Subliners are going to be in a decent spot. No one from London was there for the trades. Oh, Priest gets two out of that. That's big. The back line now, safe as you like. Spawns now from the New York Subliners close. Scraps, though, gun is up, ready to go. Can he get any one out of this? He does get one. Nasty as well there. Still two players towards the back line. Nasty flying forward, hopping into the feed. Priest gets it. Skies still keeping those spawns, though, for the Subliners. Time a little open at the moment. And this will be interesting for London. I mean, if they could sort of bully them away from like the top side and keep some players out of the hill, maybe you could chalk it up and count this as a win, but they basically put zero pressure on the back spawns. And I was going to say, eventually you feel like New York's going to be able to make it through, but honestly, this has been a hill where neither team has really been able to collect. And even for the final moments, it takes Hydra to have to take down two just to get the final 13 seconds to scrap. So I'd say for London, maybe drop the ball a little bit, but made the best out of a, an interesting situation as the mixiness will continue. You have players all over the map. Oh my. Priest, I can't get any more of that life. New hard points up. Hydro with the water. Good reads. Keeping mid-map safe. No one's getting across that hard point. Spawns, though. We'll see exactly where those Ravens play and the subliners play spawns. Mid-map, but race is on. Parallel positions in mid-map, but no one's really able to get another point yet. Last man up and kicking is Priest. The sky is now keeping the anchor at the back as he scraps for the Ravens. A very, very precarious spot to be in on the hard point. And well, yeah, now Scraps is in as the most precarious situation possible. Able to take down one. I just want to point this out, by the way. This is one of the lowest scoring games I think we've really had up to this point. We've had nearly two minutes shaved off the game clock. So I know it's a very rare situation for games to end on time. But this right now could be a contender because this is more time just sort of getting stripped away as London get the final 10 seconds. 
And they've crossed the, you know, the, the 50 point margin, but still a very low scoring game. The first time those subliners have really had to be able to get a full setup on new. This is it. This is their opportunity to try to take the lead. Here we go. Will somebody finally be able to truly hold on to a hard point? There's only a 10 second difference between them when they started up and it's still ticking. Skies though, staying alive on the back here. Might be able to catch a player out, but who is that next to him? It's Scraps. They're literally shoulder to shoulder. Game awareness on. He's inside. Oh, he's inside. God, that looks so weird. It's a hard okay. point. I'm kicking, man. <laughs> Ravens are in. Oh, and they're looking fine so far. Open your eyes, Ross. Is the time now. Still going the way of London. Ah, the minimap on this one will get you. You know, you never know if players are running up top or swimming underneath the water. Always tough to tell, but I will say that was the first time Sullivan's got the full setup on a hill. It got broken down basically Damn. instantly. And it's still mixing his towards actual old. Subliners are like desperate just to collect any bit of scrap. It has been, again, almost an absurdly low scoring game. More uncontested time where neither team is collecting. And I suppose long term, Prisa could have been in a good spot to lock down spawns, but he wanted to chow, so he's going to die as London are very slow to try to push through. Oh, London, it's been an interesting game indeed. Let's now go for a quick listen in with the Ravens and see how they sound. Give me. One Shack, 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 no, yeah, Kismet's gonna spawn. Time, time and zone, last two. Time and zone. Hydra's back, back broken, back P4. Do you want to break from front here? I got one front. Let's play down. You're already broken. I'm broken, I'm broken. Hydra's broken. I'm going out on the side. Last kid, tap down. Nothing clear. One's in the back, one's in the back. Cut in the first one and then leave it. Back on the back. 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 Back on the there we go. That listening from the Ravens, a fun one indeed, Chance. That dead from scraps, that rung right through my soul. Uh, absolutely, and even a, a good cop towards the end of like, I'm just going to get him to chase me. So Kismet has to put himself pretty distant towards the back spawns, but if his teammates are getting the kills up front, that just means Kismet gets the block in. New York Subhunters, again, it's been rare moments for them to be able to actually get truly set up on a hill and try to lock it down for a full 60. But this right now, about as good as it gets for the potential. You got a guy blocking spawns. Everyone else is spawning across the map, and they got to get past the front line of Priest before they can think about a contest. Priest has got so many angles to watch in this spot, and he's tagged up he's not dead yet though ravens are in upstairs two of them have made it now the nasty from down low oh, it comes to see him in the feet as well crazy trades 30 seconds left on this point and kismet in the cheekiest of spots to secure that time for now hydra downstairs finding another one as well 20 plus seconds to go new york desperately trying to get back into this and this it could be where they do it I mean, hey, this could be the first lead they have had uh, pretty much the entire game. I think they got the first 10 seconds, and after that, got picked apart, and it looks like they're going to be able to get it. They stabilized to get that final bit of time in the best hill subliners have had by a mile. So if there's the call there, London now need the response. They effectively have a full setup over towards this new hill, and all things considered, this one might be a little bit easier to lock down, but Hydra lying in wait. His teammates are putting pressure through P2. Now's his moment to strike. Slowly creeping forward. They change again. Ravens in the driver's seat for now. Scrap so sneaky. Hydro, it might be able to make something happen here quick. No, good guns from the scene. Does his job. Yuli finds his as well. A great range there with a the Vaznev. Priest now trying to get inside the hard point. Can he get any closer? Find a single kill as the Ravens put themselves in such difficult spots to be taken care of. They're still holding this point. 30 seconds remaining here, and this will be the closest anyone from the subliners has got. And a seam cutting them down once again. 
mean, honestly, yeah, it's kind of similar to what we saw in the SD. Some of these setups are on point for London, and his team can't get the third, but still takes down two, and that is the perfect response that you needed. I mean, that is a bunch of little tight setups. No one making mistakes. Scraps being patient up pop. Like, that is just the efficiency from London. On point in the moment, but now we go back towards the new hill, P4, P5, whatever it is, where Subliners, again, will be here first. Last time, they got broken down almost instantly. This time, you have Hydra much more aggressive on the map, able to slow it down just a bit as Subliners finally collecting that time. Here we go. It's a three-man hit down low water side. Sky should be able to eat these players up or at least slow them down. That's a great thing right now for the New York Subliners. Get that time. Ulysse now spawned on the other side of the map. You've got a scene hitting that very top side. Here comes Skies. Doesn't get the pair of them. Scraps now makes this a pinch. Got a little snake stand off battle though. Scraps <laughs> almost knows he can't cross it. Too many players getting sent in for the kill. And yeah, that'll be the cleanup. That is three in the feed right there for New York. So that is the patience on point when you need it. Nasty does get traded. So that is good time. And for only the third time, I think this entire game, we're going to have another lead exchange. So subliners with the smallest of edges, at least in the score column when it comes to new. And if you can flip spawns for P2 as they are getting all these kills, this could be the moment of the game. The Priest is making a run for it. He's seriously going for these spawns. He may have just got him. Scraps though, I think heard it. Yeah, reads it. Ravens maintain a small advantage. It's a second now in the lead. We'll see that change in a sec. What a hydro this has been, Chance. It's not over yet. Yeah, now you're almost like scared to jump the point. Subliners are going to hop on it first, but you're going to be getting swarmed from every single angle. So yeah, you expose yourself, you get picked apart. A scene with the water out's able to pick up too, but good news for Subliners. Two players spawn at new, two players spawn at old, so you got a pinch on P1 and an opportunity to lock down spawns, but it is a water standoff fight. You hate to see it. It's crazy. 25 seconds left here on the hard point. Over 200 now for the Ravens. And they're soaking up that time. It's all down to Skies to stay alive here. Scraps on the cross. Lovely work. Holding it down. Stays alive. This is big from the subline as you sorely need it. But can Skies stay alive and kick in here? He does. The second. It comes the seam. Finally gets the kill. Ravens now in the position to maybe close this one out. 1 minute 24 on the game clock. Don't forget, that's coming down as well. Yeah, look at what Skies did, though. He spawns a couple of those London players out. So New York actually has the pressure on the hill first, but they don't have the spawns just yet. They're in time. They're collecting. They are working on this comeback, and it is the standoff on the time. Who's going to chow first? You got New York picking up the first kill, so Hydra, he's going to fly. He's soaring through. There's number one. Number two should get traded. He connects. Subliners can't quite win it here, but by God, they could build a nice little lead. Oh, my word. We'll see how it goes. Another lead change on its way. Here we go. Yuli diving forward. Wait a minute. It's a contest. Kismet firing through the smoke. A seam with a team kill. Oh dear. It's another blunder from the Ravens. Lead change again. 20 to go. This could be it. Uh, it will all come down to this final hill. We have made it past the uh, the P2 blunder where games always end. And Ravens have this set up first. Kismet, good luck trying to get through this water. He is getting pelted with stun after stun where he is deep in the water and yet he can't see through it. Nasty, that's unfortunate. That's honestly the start subliners need, but they have to be quick on this. Gotta hold this one down as well. Sky is playing the late flank. He's playing this very slow and steady. 1v1 against Yuli now on the back line. Wins it, that's big. Over now, the spawns oh, are close from the subliners. It's not a pinch. It's Kismet. Can he find a break or two? 20 to go now for the Ravens. Into the point he flies. Catches nearly the pair. Oh my god. Final 10. New York have done it. Asim has got to go big. The hero now. Kismet guns him down. Final five as New York. They've got it done here on Hydro. What a break. What a play. Big series out of the subliners. Oh my god, and like Skies literally wins the one gunfight in the back, and if that, that player on London, if they just don't chow for an extra split second, Kismet would have spawned across the map. Instead, they died, open up the spawn, Kismet spawns even closer than Skies was, and goes in instantly, makes the break on that time. I mean, that is, you know, hydro uh, electric almost at its absolute finest, right? You got Kismet just down low underneath the water. Nasty staring straight at him. Nasty just can't see him. Kismet can see him clear as day. And little moments like that go such a long way as a heartbreaking loss for London. If I had a dollar. Oh, you'd, you'd have about 20 to $30 chance, I think, at this hey, point in bad. time. But 250 231 hydro, electric, and electric it was. All about that renewable here in the CDL. A mad map indeed. What a funky one.
as we close out the series three to one new york subliners kudos to them they walk away with a big dub man that was some series I, another wild hydro uh, the only other time we nearly saw it go down to the game clock as well i mean at the start of that one incredibly low scoring a super super interesting one very very fun indeed but hey man hey always delivering on hydro <laughs> The map that single-handedly powers the GMC Hummer EVs, you know, gotta find the renewables when you get it. But yeah, the map is wild. I simply will never understand it. It's like a brand new look every time. You literally never know what to expect. No, whether it's uh, crazy spawns or big plays, we don't see too many kills from water to surface there with uh, that kill from Kismet to Hut to Nasty. Uh, another defining moment in another crazy series was done from Chance and I. It's now over to the beautiful desk. Thank you, Miles and Chance. Wonderful casting. You guys are beautiful humans. I like keeping you on camera as long as we can here at the CDL. Uh, there they are. <laughs> Full screen, especially Chance. He's so happy all the time. Can we talk about this series? Not only do you have spectacular casting, but some entertaining games. More entertaining than we expected from London as they were able to push the subliners here. It only went four, Allie, but these were tough games the entire way for the subliners. You know what, Chris? No, we can't talk about this game, but we can talk about this play on this map. It is our scuff play of the game it's here hit. at the end of this hard point, and it is New York subliners clutching up here at the end. I mean, it was just a hard point trading back and forth. Some money hills between the London Royal Ravens and New York subliners, but it's this final P2 hold. They didn't have the rotation. They break through through the front, and then they flip out spawns near the end of P2 and it's Kismet with a big two-piece. Yeah, Asa does a good job on that P2, like stopping them from getting the time that they would need to win the game because they could have won it after they popped that two-piece in the back. So they have to secure rotation. And right when it's getting ready to rotate towards P3, I was so worried for London because it feels like every single time on this rotation, when teams push out towards P1, the player dies, he spawns in Narnia, yep. and then they get broken. And we saw sort of the similar thing happen here. It's so tough to control P3 the entire time just because of the nature of the spawns. At the end of the game, you feel like you want to stack, but you also have to commit to the back. Yeah. Uh, Asim tried to make a heroic effort and reflank. Just doesn't work out. And we see New York take the win. Tough loss there for London. They can't force a second search to destroy. And it's the subliners who now improved to three and one. And they're going to join the likes of Vegas Legion, Atlanta Faze, LA Thieves. We now have four teams with three and one records as we're looking to lock in our final eight. Nameless final thoughts on this series before we move forward with the show. Sure, yeah, I mean, I think the control, there was some opportunity for London throughout it. Uh, I think about that offensive push that they had. They lost so many lives trying to get A, and you could find yourself in that situation on hotel where you're just trying to flood through kitchen, feel like you need to get control, and then you just get mowed down, and by the it's all said and done, you're down 10 lives. Yeah. Like, you have to get through mid and try to get control of dub and then make plays through kitchen. It's like your only option on that map. Unfortunately, London falls into the trap, and they get mowed down by Skies and company. And New York, I mean, a relative relatively solid victory. The map one was pretty dominant, and when they needed to go clutch, they did. All right, so now we know two of our teams in the lower bracket will be the London Royal Ravens and Toronto Ultra come major number four next week. Subliners improved to three and one with one match still to go, and we'll find out what they can do against Boston in their final match on Sunday. As we take a look back at this series, though, let's relive some of the sub spectacular weekend. This time it's Hydra. Yeah, this is the play on AC where he goes up the ladder. We saw it earlier as a Hummer East extract. Wow, I don't know why I couldn't get that word out. Mode <laughs> play of the game where he gets this three-piece. I mean, he just had Deddy pop. Nobody heard him come up the ladder, and unfortunately comms can't come through that quickly. So this is when I believe he goes on an eight spree as well. He got two streaks during this map number one, where the London Royal Ravens at one point were up 77 to like six. Parisa was 0-7, and, and the match ends up being NYSL 250 to 131. So huge regain out of them. Chad's going crazy right now watching the Hydra replays, and CDL dude says, Hydra is a god. Uh, Hydra for the win. He's a cheat code right now, and he's going to be joining the show here in a moment. So if you have a question for Hydra, put it in the chat right now as we take a look back at the standings. Major four is just two days of competition away. Subliners, one more series to go against Boston Breach, and we'll see what else is going to happen in that huge chunk of three and one teams. Yeah, I mean, and again, I mean, I'm surprised that so many teams are tied right now. We're looking at Seattle Surge that could also join that 3-1 tie. We're looking at Boston Breach that could join that 3-1 tie. It's going to be a lot of head-to-heads heading into tomorrow. Hydra's on the show right now. Let's talk to the Frenchman. And Hydra, I have to ask, how does the Vaz feel right now? Because if you're watching any of the games this week, there has been a superstar sub-performance on every team. Today was yours. I don't hear anything. You don't hear us? 
Hydra! <laughs> Wait, we're just yelling. Paco! Yeah, you can move. Yeah. <laughs> What's good? Hi, Hydra! I wish I could speak sign language. I wish you knew. Wait, I can hear now. Can you hear you me? Can hear us? You can hear us? Nice. Yeah, I can, you can hear. Yes! Welcome, brother. Paco, talk to me about today. How did it feel playing against London? You looked on fire in the SMG role. Uh, I was feeling myself today, to be honest. <laughs> I was shooting really straight. I was feeling confident. And yeah, that's it. Did you do anything different to warm up today? Uh, I drink a Gatorade instead of a... <laughs> instead of big dollar cokes, yeah. <laughs> I know I it's it's up. Yeah, it up. All right. <laughs> okay, Sorry, notice I... it? Yeah, no, I drink, I drink all of it. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna like turn today. So <laughs> one is with the new Gatorade sponsor. I'm ready for it. I mean, turn today. I mean, Hydra too. Oh shit! Fair. No, yeah, I my feel bad. Like you turn every series. I didn't think about this. Sorry. Wait. Sorry. What no, you <laughs> you're good. You're good. Hydra, I want to ask, where do you guys feel your strongest game mode is right now? Uh, probably SND. I would say. Okay. Uh, we kind of struggling in our point, but I feel like we we're getting like better every day in our point. And I feel like control were like kind of like decent too. But we're getting better like every day, so I would say like SMD probably. Uh, Hydra, it's not often that we get to pick your brain when it comes to Call of Duty. Uh, I want to ask you, you guys started off stages 1 and 2, 22 and 12 in hardpoint. Since then, it's been 6 and 10. Uh, what has been the biggest difference in your opinion in your guys' hardpoint game? What have you been trying to relay to the team uh, to fix the HP? Oh... Uh... I feel like since the update, like the hardpoint really like changed. It's like not like squad spawn and all that stuff. So we've been really like trying to like understand like our own game plans. If that makes sense? Yeah, I don't sure. Know that makes sense. But does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. But yeah, we've been like really like trying to like try like different game plans. I feel like in scrims, and it's probably why like. It's not like we're struggling on it in it but like we're just trying like different things obviously we don't really know like what's like the best to do for like the team yeah that so trying, th trying that things out sense. different breaks yeah. different rotations yeah, yeah it's yeah. looking good yeah different like break yeah exactly yeah paco final question for you up next you have to play against boston breach they will be playing today will you guys be watching Kremp and his vod or do you just plan for your own game Oh, I play my game. I don't. I don't need to watch Cram VOD, Awakenings VOD. They can do whatever. I'm just playing my game, and we'll see to tomorrow. Is tomorrow the match? Yeah. That's well, the answer we'll we tomorrow. were hoping for, brother. Best of luck in your final series. Congrats on the win today. Thank you. That's thank Hydra. You, you. The subliners get a win, and we got the man on the mic. I love having him doing interviews. His English is perfect. He looks it, so comfortable in the interviews. Better, he yeah. used to always be like, I don't know what to I'm say. Not I'm not doing it. I'm not He's doing getting it. so much he more comfortable. So I love it. Crushing it. We got to go to a quick commercial break before we go. Quick commercial or quick reminder. Pick up your gear. It's a live commercial. Shop.callofdutyleague.com. We've got the newest hoodies, hats, jerseys, and more. Pick them all up right now. And, of course, if you don't have your physical gear, you can get your digital gear. We're in the video game, and you can get yours for just $9.99. Pick it up today. Call of Duty League Team Packs. We're going to commercial break when we come back. It's more Call of Duty, three matches to go. It's a good one when we come back. If you're a Mutineers fan, nothing to lose against a team that needs this win more than ever. Vegas Legion looking to catch the rock after this.